And that was good for two. One of the smart plays Ramon was talking about, they just did. Ballon find passes to number four. Oh, and it is gonna be travel on number four, Greg Jones. After the timeout, Pueblo seems to come out, you know, they're more aggressive. You see more double teaming on the defense, doing a lot better now. Yes, Wade with a three-point shot, and it is good. He sinks the shot. Classing with the three-point shot, and is no good. Hakeem with the rebound, passes it to Clark. Clark taking it in, and gets the two-point basket. That'll bring the score up to Palo Verde 24, Pueblo 19. Pueblo on a great run right now. Palo Verde should stick to their own game plan, though. You know, they had them contained for a while there. They should, if they just stick to it, they should do pretty good. Yes, in the second quarter, if it were just up to the second quarter, right now the score would be 11 to 3. So Pueblo is doing a great job. They really picked up their game in the, the second quarter. Well, the score is 19-24 with 5 minutes and 26 le seconds left in the first half. Hey, Herman, are any of those one of your girlfriends? The one on the end, right? <laughs> the one on the end? Or all of them? Probably no. All of them. No. Sure? no. No. No? No. Okay. I am... I am a free man. Are you sure? I, I don't want you starting any rumors, so please. Okay, okay, okay. What about one of the basketball players? <laughs> no, I don't, no. No. The coach? Mr. O'Rourke, right? You know, um, I, I think we really need to get back to the game. All right, can, all right, please. all right. All right. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll get some kind of chance to edit that out before we actually play this. And the defense. Gets a steal. Hakeem Rasul taking it down and gets the one-handed power dunk. It seems as if they double team, they can create turnovers and get the conversion on the other side. If they keep double teaming, they should do fine. Pueblo is playing a really tough uh, half-court press defense right now. See, as you can see right now, there was just another turnover. Pueblo gets the ball back and uh, Sammy Wade will be taking the ball down. Keith Washington coming back into this game. Yeah, you know, it's uh, with those slam dunks, uh, Pueblo really gets the crowd pumped up. It really shows some authority that, that Pueblo, you know, has out on the, on the courts. How many glasses have they broken? Uh, I believe something like 10 or something, I don't know. Ooh. And that's just Sammy Wade. That's so. a lot of glass. Yes. Little man can dunk. Actually, he got his first dunk against Buena on Friday. It was a two-handed uh, dunk. It was, it was a, an amazing jump. You sh should have been there. And the ball almost gets stolen from Keith Washington. Washington with a jumper and makes it. That was a very nice shot. Hakeem taking it in, passes it off to Michael Kidd, passes it back to Rasul. Rasul with the shot and misses. Klassen bringing it down. Passes it to Ballon. Ballon with a three-point shot and is no good. Kid tips it to Clark. Clark taking it down and is fouled on his way into the basket. Okay, though, though Pueblo's been bringing the intensity lately, Palo Verde still up 26-21 with four minutes remaining in the first half. Yes, we've really seen that after that break, uh, Pueblo really came out with some type of aggressiveness. They came out more uh, into the game and, and uh, with a lot more smart uh, plays and more, uh, more aggressive defense. Clark with the free throw and misses. Klassen with the rebound. Class into Washington, and it's stolen by Sammy Wade. Wade taking the ball down. Takes the shot and misses. Washington bringing the ball down and is getting double teamed. Passes it to Moore. Moore to Jones. Jones to Eason. Eason to Classen. Classen for the three point and is blocked by Michael Kidd. I believe that is Kidd's second block on the night. And there is a foul 
on number 25, Chris Klassen. That's going to be his third foul of the evening. Scores 26-22, Paolo Verni. And McCray with his first free throw and misses. Rasul with the rebound, tries to shoot it from the ground and misses. Washington passing, bringing it down, sorry. With the three point shot, no, actually stepped on the line. Easton with the rebound, puts it back up and is good. Wade bringing the ball down, relaxed and calm. The alley oop to Hakeem and the two handed alley oop dunk by Hakeem Rasul. I would definitely, definitely not want to be the that side of the rim. Yes, that was uh, that was very lethal. I wouldn't want to get kicked or get, get pushed or even touched by Hakeem Rasul. He is very powerful. George Moore taking the ball up and I guess I, I believe that was try uh, almost an alley oop. Uh, a real miscommunication on Palo Verde's part. Yes, uh, that was going to be an alley oop to number four, Greg Jones, but they really didn't communicate it and. There was no alley oop done. Well, we're going to take a timeout here. Uh, it's Pueblo's second timeout of the half. 2.32 so, remaining in the half. Palo Verde 28, Pueblo 24. So uh, how, do you, how do you think uh, that we've done so far? I think we've done pretty good, but uh, I, I see the cheerleaders, Ramon. I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, you know, once again, the score is 24 to 28 with two minutes and 32 seconds left in the game. And uh, Pueblo has really uh, made their game a lot more powerful and uh, uh, have really thought their plays through. Hey, Herman, what do you think they're talking about in there? What are they going to do after the game? Uh, probably what they're going to order for dinner. That's, that's what I would think. Can we go with them? I'm hungry. Actually, I think we do get to go with them because, because we're got, we got this gig. That's pretty cool. Well, at least it pays something. Yes, food. Food's always an important factor in, in the workplace. That well, sure is a lot of people, Herman. Yeah, yes. Hey, there's my mom. Where? Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, back to the game. Rasul with the three-point shot and sinks it. Okay, Palo Verde bringing it up, number 10, George Moore with the three misses. Hakeem Rasul with the rebound over to Sammy Wade. He's driving with the layup. Oh, and it is missed, put back by Hakeem Rasul. He cannot, misses again over to Sammy, and he puts it back in. Two minutes for remaining. It is a tie ball game, folks, a tie ball game. Moore bringing it up for Palo Verde. He's looking for a shot, passes over. Back over to Moore. Passes way out there. Over to Washington. Washington with, oh, and it is nearly stolen by Michael Kidd. Moore with the three, and it is no good. And Sammy Wade jumping high into the air for that defensive rebound with a three point shot and sinks it. Pelover, Pueblo with the first lead of the game. They're leading by three, 31 to 28. Sammy really looks uh, real aggressive and into the game. And the steal by Hakeem Rasul is taking it down. Oh, and almost gets the dunk. Washington taking it in and misses the shot. The defensive rebound by Kidd. Kidd passes to Rasul. Rasul with the easy layup. Moore bringing the ball down. It gets deal with double team. Almost gets it stolen by Sammy. Eason passes it to Jones. Jones taking it in and is fouled by Hakeem Rasul. That'll be Rasul's first foul of the night. Jones going to the line and makes his first free throw. Second free throw is 
no good. And the rebound by Hakeem Rasul. Rasul taking it down, passes to McCray. McCray with the layup and misses. And Eason throws the ball away. 24 seconds left in the first half. Pueblo up by four, 33-29. Wade bringing the ball down, shooting the three-point shot, and sinks it. They had to be five feet away from the three-point line. That was a clear NBA three-point shot. Hey, Herman, can I play in the NBA? Uh, maybe as a water boy. Really? Hey, yeah. That's my dream. Yeah, actually, haven't you seen the movie Water Boy? Yeah. Just trying not get to get beat up and stuff. All right. I don't think you'll ever play like he did, but it's okay. Well, Clark taking it in with the layup and makes it off the wonderful steal. Well, it's the end of the second half and we'll be back with some interviews. All right, well, uh, we're here with assistant coach Scotty. Uh, well, Scotty, what'd you think uh, of the first half? Well, well, the first half we uh, got to a pretty slow start. We were getting good shots, but uh, the, the bucket or they just weren't falling in. So that's just basketball. We got it uh, the second quarter we, uh, much better, 38-29. We like that. Uh, our defense uh, needs to get a little bit better. We need to uh, work on help side a little bit. Uh, we're, not, we're not seeing that. Keep the guys out of the middle. That's, that's another big thing that they're hurting us off second shots and stuff like that. All right. Well, what type of adjustment did you make? Because uh, uh, in the difference, in the first, the way they were playing in the first quarter and the second quarter, it was like a dramatic change. What, yeah. what, what type of adjustments did you make? Well, well, the major change, actually, I'd like to take credit for it, but I can't. That was actually Coach O'Rourke. He uh, went to the 1-2-2 two, two, uh, trap, which is very effective. Uh, their guards had a hard time uh, handling that. So uh, I think that was the turning point in it so far. And it got us, it got us going again, got us get, uh, in transition, because we're best. Uh, you know, there's no big secret. We're best in transition. All right, well, uh, thank you for being here. Right, and right. I know you got to go okay. do some other things. All right. Well, we're here with uh, two of the Pueblo Warriors' very own uh, managers, Dora and Denise. Which one's Dora and which one's Denise? All right, first, Denise. Okay, well, what do you guys basically do? Um, we do stats, and I do usually the official book or the book. Um, I keep scores of the, the points and fouls and stuff like that. All right, and uh, I know this is your second season, right? Okay, and uh, so like, what, what made you guys like actually want to do this? We just started staying after school for open gym and we just liked watching them play and we just started coming in for their practice and coach just asked us if he wanted to help them out and we decided to. All right, well, uh, well, do you guys enjoy it? Yeah, it's fun. We get to go out of the games and, and see everything and it's just fun for the basketball. All right, well, uh, thank you very much, Denise and Dora. And uh, we'll be back uh, with uh, some uh, halftime wrap-up and uh, some halftime pregame talk.
All right, and we're back now and we're ready for the second half. Uh, well, the score is 38 to 29, Pueblo leading. And uh, it, it's, been, it's a dramatic change. At the end of the first quarter, what was the score? 8 to uh, 21, correct? I believe it was. It was something like that. Yes, well, uh, in, in the second quarter, Pueblo scored 30 points and Palo Verde scored 8 points. So there was a big difference in the way Pueblo played in the second half. I, I know what happened, Ron. The players, they switched jerseys. That's what happened. Okay, so the players that scored the points for Palo Verde scored the points for Pueblo. See? Do you see, do you see what I'm talking about? Sure. You, you keep thinking that. It well, <laughs> Well, now we... Uh... Look at those shoes. Hey, do I have any like that? All I have is high heels. I, I want some of those, Ramon. Can you buy me some? Maybe for your birthday, okay? Uh, I don't know what my birthday is. <laughs> Actually, all the players uh, before the season started went out and bought the, the gloves, as they call them. They're the Gary Paytons. And uh, all of them, well, most of them bought them. And a couple of them actually switch up the colors. So one of them's wearing like a dark blue, another one's wearing a light blue. So, so what happens when it's not cold? Do they not wear them? I mean, because if they're gloved, you think they'd wear them because it's cold. Okay, anyways, uh, the, the second half, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really crazy game. Uh, in the first half, Palo Verde totally dominated the game, but then we came back in the second quarter and Pueblo was just tearing up the boards, putting down the baskets, and playing some really aggressive defense. So it's gonna be uh, pretty uh, difficult to predict what's gonna actually happen in this third quarter and fourth quarter. It's gonna be a uh, wild, oh, wild oh. west showdown. It's gonna be like, uh, what, what's that place called in Tombstone? The, uh, the bathroom? No, the ne house. Never mind. Okay. Well, uh, we start off the second half with a backcourt violation on Keith Washington. That is definitely not the way they want to be starting out. Well, Wade bringing the ball down. Wade passes to Clark. Clark to Rasul. Rasul skips it to Wade. Wade back to Clark. Clark back to Wade. Wade passes to Kid. Kid with the jumper.